They want to be able to go back home and say, we fixed the problem. We put steel in the ground, and it only costs $3 a month on the average bill, and we're going to make sure there's no winter storm Yuri again. Yeah. But there really is no guarantees with, with our, our changing climate. The solution is really to look at, first of all, the demand side and invest in weatherizing our homes, right? That is where we can get the most megawatts for the cheapest amount of money and actually help consumers save money as opposed to putting an extra cost on consumers, which is what they want to do. But even if they don't do that, we have an existing service in ERCOT. It's called Emergency Response Service. Who provides it? Residential and commercial consumers through demand response and backup generation like companies like Enchanted Rock already make. And those are contracts that ERCOT has with those companies that are bid in over a three month basis that are there for emergencies when we hit that last point in ERCOT. We already have it. It costs $75 million a year, not frickin' 10.8 billion. We already have it. They could expand it to a couple hundred million if they wanted to. And there's plenty of people that would bid in and provide that service without the need for new polluting gas plants.